Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. This is the third lecture in the immunology, and the objective of this lecture is the immunoglobulin or antibody, and it's abbreviated capital A, small b, and its structure functions types. The blood from any individual and put it in a plain tube without anticoagulant and left it for half an hour. So blood will coagulate and you will get the serum. And when we get this serum and do electrophoresis to it, so we will get these spikes. First, the albumin, second, the alpha-1, alpha-2, beta, and gamma. So the gamma globulin fraction of the protein has antibody activity. So the antibodies will be found in the gamma region, and this is five. Antibodies, what's antibodies? Are made by B cells. Source of the antibodies are made by B cells armed on its cell surface and act as surface molecular receptors that bind to an antigen. So this is the B cell, and this is the antibody on the cell surface of the B cell. B cell, when it encounters a specific antigen, will differentiate into plasma cell that secretes a large number of antibodies on memory cell. So this B cell, when encountered an antigen, this is the antigen when encountered by the B cell. So this will be differentiated into the plasma cell that secrete large number of antibodies and differentiate into memory B cells. So the structure of the antibody is consists from the uh, two heavy chain polypeptide chain and two light chain of polypeptide chain. This is the brown one, which is the light chain. And this is the green, the two heavy chain. Each polypeptide chain, it has N terminal region and the carboxy region. So this heavy chain have N terminal region and the carboxy terminal region while the light chain has the N-terminal region and the carboxy terminal region. This is the light chain and this is the heavy chain. This end that bind to the antigen, only this end that bind to the antigen. So it's called antigen binding domains. It's called variable region. Each uh, light chain consist from variable region and the constant region. It's called variable region because the amino acid sequence in this will be changed, while this constant region, the amino acid sequence is stable, did not change. And the same with the heavy chain. This green one, which is the variable region, means that the amino acid sequence in this variable region changed while this, uh, the constant region, that the amino acid sequence in this region is constant and is not changed. This is the carboxy end of the antibody, and this is the end terminal end of the anti. This is the end terminal end of the antibody. This is called the effector domain. The constant region is called the effector domain, while this is the antigen binding domain, which is bind to the antigen. This is another figure of the antibody. The polypeptide chain of the heavy chain and light chain is too long. So this is fold, the polypeptide chain fold to form a domes or domain. And this is the variable 
heavy domain and this is the constant one heavy domain and this is the constant two heavy domain and this is the constant three heavy domain so the heavy chain has one variable domain and the three constant domain while the light chain has one variable domain and one constant domain and the light chain is also a two long polypeptide chain so it is folded this is the two long polypeptide chain so it is folded to form a domain or domes this is called variable domain or the light chain and this, this is the constant domain of the light chain and this resemble to this domes and this resemble to this dome and this show us how the polypeptide chain loops that bind to the entity and this is the variable region it's like the hands that uh, that hold the entity which is like a ball the yellow one so this is like a hand the variable region that holds the entity which is called entity binding site so each antibody is made up of two identical heavy chain and two identical light chains shaped to form a y shape capital y shape in english linked covalently by disulfide bonds this is the disulfide bond that prevents the polypeptide chain from unfolding so fix it these two disulfide bonds fix the dome and also there is two disulfide bond that hold the uh, heavy chain of the antibody and one disulfide bond that hold the light chain with the heavy chain and this is called the hinge region of the antibody like a spring which is uh, which is permit the movement of the antigen binding site on the constant region so heavy chain H abbreviation H has a molecular weight twice that of light chain. So it is called heavy chain. And this light chain, the molecular weight is less heavier than the light chain. So it is called light chain. Each polypeptide chain is not linear but folded to form domes or loops by intra chain disulfide bones. SS disulfide bones and called domains light chain had one variable light chain and one constant light domain heavy chain had one variable heavy chain and three constant heavy domains called ch1 ch2 and ch3 c for the constant h for the heavy and one and two and three hinge region area of the heavy chain between uh, constant heavy one and constant heavy two domains where the disulfide bonds is a present it is a flexible area permits the movement of antibody binding fragments pop from uh, 30 to 180 degree each chain has two region each light chain or heavy chain of the antibody has two region the variable region the section that makes up the tips of the Y uh, arms represent the amino terminal of the polypeptide chain. It varies greatly in contour from one antibody to another. This variation is due to change in the amino acid sequence. For this reason, called the variable region, it has unique contours that match antigen to antibody. So it is like lock match a key 